New car inventory on the rise. Used car prices are dropping. Cheapest car insurance companies and rates by states. And the top 10 most American vehicles of 2022. Actually, top 24. There were a lot of ties. This is both good news for new car buyers and for used car buyers. First of all, new vehicle inventory is at its highest level since mid-year 2021. As prices continue to rise, that's the bad news, uh, but the used car inventory and prices are both falling. So the data shows that new vehicle inventory has increased another 9.64%, basically 10% since the start of October, while used vehicle inventory has declined 2.6%. Despite more new cars being available, new car prices rose 0.76% this month to an average of 48,500. We hit that peak uh, earlier this summer of almost 48, almost $49,000 for the average price of a new car. At the same time, used car inventory fell for the third straight month. So less used car inventory because people are taking up all the used cars out there, but the prices dropped on used cars, 1.55% to an average of just under $33,000. According to the latest numbers, the average monthly payment for a used vehicle is currently $551, which is 47% higher than it was in 2009, but that's expected or forecasted to reach $570 by the end of the year. So that's a quick snapshot of inventory, average cost of new and used vehicles, as well as monthly payments. What about insurance? We can't ignore insurance. I've got some new numbers this year that kind of break down the most expensive states and least expensive states for insurance, age groups that have to pay the most, and insurance companies that charge the most and some that are the least expensive. I was surprised by some of these numbers. Maybe you will be too. Let's talk about car insurance rates by age. Probably no surprise that teenagers are the most expensive people to insure. So premiums for six months, for a 16 to 19 year old driver, 2286 cost per month, 381. And you go down the list, and everything else is pretty reasonable. Uh, the cheapest is actually my age group, 50 to 59, 649 for a premium for six months. That's 108 bucks per month. As you can see by this chart, age really doesn't have a huge impact on rates with the exception of teenage drivers. And these rates are just the national averages. Some states have higher averages for age groups while some are a little bit lower. For example, if you're trying to figure out how much is car insurance in Connecticut, for example, for my 17 year old, you might be surprised. Geico offers the cheapest car insurance for teenagers in that state. Teenage girls pay an average of $26.97 or $2.25 a month basically, while boys are $31.38 or $2.61 a month. All right, let's go ahead and move on to states with the most expensive full coverage insurance premiums. You're going to find Michigan, Florida, Louisiana, Rhode Island, and Kentucky with the most expensive Michigan there at $1,262. Now, if you go with the states with the most expensive minimum coverage insurance premiums, then you're looking at Michigan, Florida, Louisiana, Rhode Island, and Nevada, ranging between $430 and $613. States with the cheapest full coverage insurance premiums, Ohio, New Hampshire, North Carolina, Virginia, and Vermont. States with the cheapest minimum coverage insurance premiums, Iowa, 150. South Dakota, 158. Vermont, Wyoming, and Ohio. The average cost of car insurance in the U.S. is $124 per month or just under $1,500 a year. That's on average. So which car insurance company should you go with? Well, I've got to look at the top 10 rated car insurance companies of the year and their prices. Looking at USAA as the top rated, 4.3 is the US News rating, and they have the cheapest, least expensive car insurance for the year, and that's $1,000, not too shabby, huh? Geico at $1,150, State Farm, $1,267. The most expensive is Allstate, but Allstate's got a decent rating right there in the middle at 4.0. If you're looking for the most American-made vehicle on the market today, I've got those numbers as well based on the latest Made in America Auto Index. This year's top spot goes to the Lincoln Corsair, both the PHEV and the conventional non-electric model. This represents a huge shift from its 44th rank last year when it contained 25% U.S. Canadian content and a foreign-sourced engine. This year, it's made of 72% U.S. Canadian content and a U.S.-made engine. Last year's number one vehicle, the manual transmission-equipped Ford Mustang, dropped to number 22 as a result of changing to a Mexican-sourced transmission. 
Tesla again makes a strong showing with five of its cars in the top 10, the Model 3 Performance and Model Y at number 5, and the Model 3 Long Range at number 2. The Corvette Stingray drop from number 2 to number 3. The Colorado is 4, while Jeep's Cherokee and Latitude models come in at number 5. Two Dodge Durango models rank number 6. Passport takes the 7th spot. Four cars tied for number 8. The F-150, Ranger, Automatic Transmission Bronco, the Model S, and X Tesla. Jeep places three more Cherokee models at the number 9 position, joining the automatic transmission-equipped Camaro. Rounding things off in the 10th position are three Hondas, the Odyssey minivan, the Ridgeline, and the Pilot. One final note, if you are in the market for a new vehicle soon, great. Connect with your local dealership and price and test drive at least three different vehicles. A vehicle's strengths and weaknesses can only be discovered when you are behind the wheel. My reviews can be good, but you need to test drive these yourself. Visit quotes.everymandriver.com, select the make model in your zip code, and you'll get invoice pricing in your area on those vehicles. Shop smarter with price quotes at quotes.everymandriver.com. Thanks for watching. Please cl click subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time.